welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW or Weight Watchers Blue Plan. I have a super fun video today. I have been doing quite a few taste tests. I've done a couple of Trader Joe's pumpkin hauls where I've taste tested the products and I recently did a taste test video of all the healthy snacks from GNC and you guys seem to really, really like these. So I'm going to make it kind of a series here on my channel where I'm taste testing some of your recommendations and some products that I think are important to see what's good and what's not good, especially when it comes to clean, healthy foods. So today is the next video in that series. Today I'm going to be taste testing clean, meaning clean ingredients, healthy ingredients, nothing artificial, protein bars. So I spent about an hour at my local health food store combing the aisles, trying to find every single clean protein bar available. And I ended up with quite a lot. So I have piles of protein bars and this isn't even all of them. And what we are going to do today is we're going to go over ingredients. I'm going to share calories, fiber and protein, which are very, very important to get in every single day, especially hitting a protein goal. So I'm going to share with you protein grams, fiber grams, calories, and smart points on all plans. Now the points should be the same on all plans because the only thing that really fluctuates are zero point foods. So none of these bars have zero point foods in them. So the points will be the same on all plans. So I'm going to share all of that with you. We are going to taste test every single bar. We're going to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I'm going to be honest with you. I have not tried any of these bars. So this is a first impression taste test. So I'm super excited. I may just find a new favorite protein bar. So before we jump into the video, if you're new to my channel, make sure that you stick around and subscribe. I'd love to have you come over and join me. I am going to be doing, like I said, taste testing videos in the future, and I do upload most days of the week. So head on over and join us. We'd love to have you join our YouTube community. Of course, if you love taste test videos, give this one a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know that you're enjoying these videos. So thank you for that. And check out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I have a little bit of everything for everyone when it comes to nutrition coaching. It is important to have knowledge. So make sure you're electing to take part in the macro calorie calculation. That is really important. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching. So head on over and join us as part of the nutrition coaching. Also, you'll find links and discount codes to my favorite things. And if I can find any of these bars online, I will link them down below for you as well. I'm probably just going to head to Amazon and see what they have. And lastly, you'll see the link to come over and join my Facebook group. Again, we'd love to have you over there as well. So we have a lot of bars to taste, a lot. So let's get started. So lucky for me today, I've only eaten breakfast. So I'm a little bit hungry, which is going to be important because like I said, we have a ton of protein bars to taste test. 13 bars to be exact. That's a lot of protein bars. Just a reminder, these are all clean ingredient protein bars, which means that they don't have any questionable oils or ingredients. I don't know if they are all WW friendly, but we're about to find out. They all have 250 calories or less, which is important for those of us that count calories in addition to points or maybe just counting calories. Snacks should be between 200 and 300 calories. So 250 and below is perfect as far as calories goes. So let's taste test the first bar in today's video. So the first bar is the Garden of Life High Protein Weight Loss Bar in Sea Salt Caramel. So I do have my notes here where I have written down the important information for today's video. So this bar is 200 calories. It has 15 grams of protein, which is great. 13 grams of fiber. This is actually one of the highest fiber bars. So that's amazing. And it's only five smart points. Oh, and I'm going to share with you guys the price. So I paid $2.50 for this bar at my local health food store. So sea salt and caramel. Let's give it a taste. So here's what the bar looks like. It is kind of a chewy. It looks like there's big chunks of peanuts in there. I will tell you, it smells really, really good. So here we go. Cheers. That is really good. It is a little bit sandy. And those chunks that you saw, those are like 
cereal chunks or cracker chunks. It's kind of hard to explain, but they have the consistency of a cracker. This is really good. And this is organic, non-GMO. Again, 13 grams of fiber, only one gram of sugar. It is vegan and gluten-free, and it's made without dairy or soy. Great option on WW because it's only five smart points, and it has really good flavor. It's sweet. The only downfall, I would say, is it's a bit sandy, but it's not unbearable. It's really good. I would definitely, definitely buy these bars again. I have my water for in between each bar. Kind of cleanse my palate. The next bar is Kate's Real Food Bars in peanut butter and milk chocolate. I'm pretty darn excited about this one. This one has absolutely stellar ingredients. They all have really good ingredients, but this one is literally real food. 260 calories, six grams of protein, so a little less protein, but still pretty good. Four grams of fiber. It is 10 smart points on WW, and it cost me $2.49 to pick up at the health food store. So this is non-GMO, has all natural honey, gluten-free, and USDA organic. And literally the ingredients, like I said, are amazing. So here's what the bar looks like. That looks incredible. It's a very granola bar E. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. The raisins, the chocolate. Let's try it. Cheers. So delicious, so delicious. One of the favorite bars I've ever tried when it comes to kind of a granola protein bar. Absolutely amazing. It says real food for real life and real activity and real energy. These are delicious. They are high in points, but they are incredible. So if you count calories, 260 is not bad and it is truly, truly delicious. The next bar is the Greens brand. This is the Plus Bar Protein. So this says made with peanut butter, whey protein, isolate, and greens superfoods. So this is a great way to get in your greens as well. 250 calories, 18 grams of protein, so absolutely amazing on the protein. Three grams of fiber, nine smart points for this bar, which this is a pretty hefty, heavy bar, and it is $2.79. So I can't wait to try this. Let's see if it gives us any more information. It says soy free and non-GMO and all natural. So let's try it. So here's what the bar looks like. It's green. I'm not mad about it, but it definitely is green and it has kind of that chewy bar look to it. It smells really good. It smells very peanut buttery. Cheers. Ugh, I don't like it at all. Oh. Not at all. So when you first take a bite of it, the peanut butter front and center. So you're like, okay, this isn't that bad. It's sweet. But then, but then the greens hit you smack in the face and it tastes like spirulina or greens powder. It's disgusting. I don't like it at all. I would never buy this again. I actually won't be finishing this bar. Uh-uh. No, for the points, the calories, everything about it. The only thing it has going for it is all of the protein, but no, no sis. Next up is the Live Bar in blueberry, vanilla, and kale. So this actually sounds really delicious. I know there's kale in it, but it just sounds so good. The blueberry and the vanilla. So this is an organic superfood bar with a compostable wrapper, and it says gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, corn-free, GMO-free. And this bar is 220 calories. This is a good size bar. Eight grams of protein, so not bad. Four grams of fiber. It's nine smart points on WW, and it was $2.75. It has clean ingredients, like literally the ingredient list is absolutely perfection. There is nothing artificial in here at all, and these are all handmade bars. It says eat real food, so let's eat real food. So here is what the bar looks like. So again, we've got granola. It's smells amazing. I can smell the blueberries all the way back here. I mean, oh, it smells so good. It smells like blueberries and honey. It does have a little green look to it from the kale, so hopefully that isn't the shining flavor. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Cheers. This is delicious. I don't taste kale at all. It has a very nutty flavor. There's lots of real nuts in here, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. I definitely taste the sweetness of the blueberry and that creaminess of the vanilla. This is amazing. I would totally buy this again. I would eat this again. There were several other flavors. I'm actually going to try some of the other ones. 10 out of 10. This bar ingredient wise, calorie wise is great. It is a little bit high in smart points, 
This is absolutely delicious. This would be great for breakfast. It gives me breakfast all the way. Next is the Epic Foods Bar. So they make the meat bars as well. This is lemon and it says here dates, almonds, cage-free egg whites, sea salt, and lemon oil. That is it. So this bar is 210 calories. It has 12 grams of protein. Way to go, Epic. Four grams of fiber. It is eight smart points on WW and it was $2.55. And I can smell the lemon through the package. Well, here is what the bar looks like. It looks really good. And again, lemon, lemon overload in the smell. Oh, it literally smells like fresh lemons. Oh, I'm excited for this. I love lemon anything. Cheers. Super delicious, super, super delicious. Now the texture of the bar, the minute I bit into it was taffy, caramel, that kind of really chewy texture, but it is so delicious. It has great flavor. I taste the lemon, but it's not overpowering. It is so good, you guys. And they have other flavors of these bars as well. This is another one I would definitely, definitely buy again. I'm actually surprised so far on how many of these taste as good as they do, being healthy, clean, good ingredient bars. Way to go, Epic. Next up is Orgain Protein Snack Bar. We all know that Orgain is known for plant-based proteins that have excellent ingredients. This is chocolate chip cookie dough. So this bar is plant-based. It has 10 grams of protein and it is organic. It also says gluten-free, soy-free, and vegan. So this bar has 140 calories. So already it's going to be WW friendly. It has 10 grams of protein, which is killer with only 140 calories. Three grams of fiber. It is four smart points. That's amazing. And it was $1.89. So super affordable, great smart points, great calories with a huge punch of protein. It's already a win in my book. I'm hoping it tastes good because if so, this will be a go-to. So here's what the bar looks like. It's kind of caramely looking in texture. You can see chunks of cookie dough and chocolate chip. I'm excited. Once again, I love Orgain. Orgain is a nice clean brand of protein powders, bars. So here's to hoping this tastes good. Cheers. Holy smokes is this delicious. It has chocolate chips. It has cookie dough bites. It is sweet. It is salty. It has a really, really good texture, kind of a mix between the caramely, but kind of sandy at the same time, but in a good way. Holy smokes. I'm buying these. These will be in my pantry, 140 calories, 10 grams of protein, and four points. Oh my God, get these bars. Wow. So next up is the Scout Organic Bar in cherry, chocolate and cherry. So this bar literally has like eight ingredients, dates, sunflower seeds, sunflower seed powder, pumpkin seeds, cocoa, cherries, and organic cherry flavor. That's a little questionable and I saw that in the store because generally when it's flavored, it is natural flavors or artificial flavors, but this is organic cherry flavor. So I'm wondering if that is like an extract. So that's what I'm hoping for. That would definitely make this a nice clean bar. So this is 220 calories, 10 grams of protein. So not bad, six fiber, that's great. It is eight smart points and $2.29. Smells good. So here's what the bar looks like. This is the first bar we've had today that has a chocolate base. You can see all the nuts and the cherries. Smells really good. I smell the dates. I, I heavily smell the dates. So I'm hoping that the other flavors come forward, you know, the cherry. So let's try it. Cheers. Good. Really, really good. So I taste the chocolate, but the chocolate to me comes off coffee more of a coffee flavor, which I really like. It, it pairs really well with the cherry and the nuts, and the cherry definitely is a, a real cherry flavor, so I'm not getting an artificial cherry flavor. It's really good. It tastes like a chocolate-covered cherry and a cup of coffee. It's kind of a mix between those two. It's really, really delicious. It says it is organic, plant-based, and grain-free, so this is another win. Next up are the Thunderbird Bars Real Food Hazelnut Coffee and Maca. So this bar I'm pretty excited about. It is a nut and seed real food bar. It is non-GMO, it is gluten-free, paleo and vegan, it is grain-free, and there is no added sugar. Literally ingredients, literal ingredients are 
dates, hazelnuts, almonds, cacao butter, cacao powder, vanilla extract, chia seeds, coffee beans, maca powder, and Himalayan pink sea salt. That's it. So I'm really hoping that the hazelnut coffee is the prominent flavor. Maca is incredibly good for you. I'm pretty excited about this. So this bar is 220 calories, four grams of protein. So probably not a protein bar per se, more of like a food bar or a snack bar or a meal replacement bar. Five grams of fiber, which is great. It is eight smart points, $2.25. So this looks delicious. Look at all the nuts and seeds. Oh my goodness. Smells really good. Again, I smell the dates, which is a great way to add sweetness to something naturally. So I'm, I'm not mad about that, but I really hope I get the hazelnut in the coffee. Cheers. Holy smokes. This bar, stellar. 10 out of 10 out of 10. So good. It is sweet. It has whole chunks of nuts. I got the big chunk of hazelnut with some coffee. This is absolutely incredibly delicious. They did have other flavors of this one as well. This is so good. This is real food. It tastes like real hearty food. Nothing artificial like some of those other protein bars out there. None, none of those horrible ingredients like malitol and maltodextrin and sucralose. This is absolutely delicious. So this next bar, I'm pretty darn excited about. This is the Primal Kitchen Coconut Cashew Collagen Bar. You guys know I put collagen in my coffee every single day. I'm a huge proponent of collagen. So this is Primal Kitchen's bar. Now Primal Kitchen makes absolutely clean, delicious products. Everything Primal Kitchen is a 10 out of 10. This is a collagen fuel bar. So it is keto friendly. It is paleo. It has 14 grams of protein. Heck yeah three grams of sugar, it is gluten and grain free, and has seven and a half grams of collagen, so that's awesome. So this bar is 200 calories, 14 grams of protein, great. Nine grams of fiber, amazing. Seven smart points on WW, and this bar was only $1.29, so this was the cheapest bar of all the bars that I picked up. So here is what the bar looks like. This looks delicious with all of the nuts and seeds. So when I smell this bar, it completely brings me back to my childhood. Do you remember those Neapolitan coconut candies? Those ones? That's what this smells like. It literally smells like those candies. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Cheers. Uh-uh, it stuck to my cube. Uh, literally. I can't even get it off my teeth, you guys. Holy moly, mm -mm. Well, it's still stuck in my teeth. It's very chewy. It's not sweet at all. It has a weird aftertaste. To me, it tastes chalky, kind of pasty, very earthy. I don't like it at all. And that's a bummer because I love Primal Kitchen products, but this is a no-go for me. It was affordable. It is a decent amount of points. I don't care for it at all. It is so chewy. It sticks to your teeth. I could barely bite through the bar. Mm -mm. No. Next up is the Vital Proteins Collagen Bar in peanut butter cookie. But here's to hoping this is better than the Primal Kitchen collagen bar. I wanted to make sure I picked up a couple different options for collagen bars. You guys know this is the collagen I use in my coffee everyday vital proteins. Again, they make really clean whole real food products. So this is peanut butter and cookie. It has eight grams of collagen, 17 grams of protein, only one sugar and 11 grams of fiber. It also has MCT oil and of course is made with boy, bovine collagen. So I pretty much gave you all the info, but it is 200 calories. It's only five smart points. So that's amazing, $2.15. So super affordable, super low point, lots of protein. Let's, let, let's take a look. So here is what the bar looks like. It looks like a peanut butter cookie, literally with the cookie bits in it. Mm. This definitely is peanut butter vibes. I can definitely smell the peanut butter. Smells delicious. Cheers. I see you, Vital Proteins. I see you. This is really good. Now, it's not overly sweet, but it's very peanut buttery. It has bits of cookie in it. It's really, really delicious. They also have other flavors. I would totally buy this again. And it's a win on so many levels. It's a win on points, protein, calories. It even has collagen. Definitely, definitely give the Vital Proteins one a try. 
skip the primal kitchen and pick up the vital proteins. Next up is the Kai's bar in cookie dough with eight ingredients. So this says Kai's the life changing bar, eight ingredients, 10 grams of protein, dairy free and gluten free, and every bar helps those in need. So what Kai's does is donates a portion of their profits to children in need, try to give them food in the United States. So the last one they did is they fed over a thousand children in the Oklahoma City area with proceeds from these bars. So that alone is amazing. 200 calories, 10 grams of protein, which is fantastic. Two grams of fiber, seven smart points, $2.39. And this is cookie dough flavor because who doesn't love cookie dough? So here is your bar. You can see the big chunks of chocolate in there. And it kind of has that chewy texture looking to the bar. It smells good. Let's try it. Cheers. It's okay. I mean, it's pretty good. The texture is good. When I eat it, I really taste the chocolate from the cookie dough coming through. It's like chocolate chips. That's really good and sweet. But the bar itself to me doesn't have a ton of flavor. I get peanut butter from more than cookie dough. I do love the chocolate in there. I love the cause. I like this bar. I would probably buy this bar again but I don't know if this would be something that I would eat regularly. I'd like to try some of the other flavors, but for the cause, the ingredients, it has a lot of protein. It, it's, it's a win, it's just not my favorite of the day. All right, my friends, two more bars. Next up is Primal Kitchen Almond Spice Protein Bar. So these are little baby squares, little baby square bars. So this is the almond spice. It says no gluten or grains, eight grams of protein, two grams of sugar, use cage-free eggs, which doesn't mean anything, and it is keto friendly. So here's to hoping this is better than the Collagen Primal Kitchen Bar. 200 calories, which is a lot. Literally, this is the size of the bar. That's the size of the bar for 200 calories. But it packs eight grams of protein in this little bar, six grams of fiber, so that's amazing. This bar, you guys, is eight points. So for those of you on WW, some of these other bars are a lot bigger bar for your points. So I don't know, unless this is stellar and delicious and amazing, I'd probably go for a larger bar. But this was only $1.29, so super, super affordable. Here's what the bar looks like. It's a little lackluster in its appearance. It's nice and thick though, I'll give them that. It smells really good, like super cinnamony and spicy, which it's fall, so I'm definitely here for that. Cheers. This is the grossest thing. Oh, the taste is still in my mouth. This is the grossest thing I've ever had in my life. Oh, you guys, it's so bad and the taste just won't go away. Ugh. It is so spicy, like so much spice, but then it has this weird like sour milk taste. I don't even know. Uh, zero out of 10, negative 10 out of 10. I, I do not recommend. No, this is seriously, no offense, Primal Kitchen. I love you in so many of your other products, but your bars, no. Next up is the Good To Go Bar. This is actually a keto bar, and this is in vanilla and almond. Whew, I'm, I'm ready. So this is a keto bar. Like I said, it has two grams of sugar, four net carbs, and seven grams of fiber. The only ingredient in here that isn't necessarily clean is erythritol. Now there's five grams of erythritol, which isn't too bad, but all of the other ingredients are really good. So if you're on keto or you watch your carbs, this is a good choice for a bar, providing it tastes good. So here's what your bar looks like. It's quite interesting. It comes in these little like square pieces. So you could save a little bit for later, I guess. It smells kind of cookie-y. I can definitely smell the vanilla. I'm just hoping that the erythritol that's in here doesn't come through because it has a very cooling effect, which I don't care for at all. So, cheers. This is actually really good. So look at the texture of this bar. It is definitely like a cookie. It's good. I don't really taste the erythritol. It doesn't come through as cooling. It's very cookie-y. It tastes like a cookie. I do taste the vanilla. It also kind of has a little bit of coconut taste to me. I wonder if there's coconut in here. No, but I know what it is. It's the almond flour. So all that's in here is almond flour, erythritol, vegetable glycerin, apple cider vinegar. It does have natural flavors. 
aka artificial flavors, which most keto products do, ground chia seeds, sea salt, baking soda, and rosemary extract. So not bad. So this is 170 calories, so really, really good calorically. It has six grams of protein, seven fiber, and again, it has five grams of erythritol. It is five smart points and $2.25. So if you watch your carbs or you're on keto, this is a good choice. It tastes good and it has pretty clean ingredients. The only thing, again, I don't love is the natural flavors, but this is a win, a win for the low carbon keto community for sure. So that is everything, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this taste test. We had a lot of fantastic bars. Honestly, more were good than I anticipated. And some of them are incredibly delicious. We had WW friendly bars, we had low carb bars, and we also had absolutely horrible bars, in my opinion. Now, I always say all of our taste buds are different. So I do recommend that you try all of these bars, even the Primal Kitchen ones that I didn't absolutely love, or even that greens bar, you may love those. So I highly recommend that you give them a try if it's something that you wanna work into your day because they're great ingredients, nice and clean, real food, satisfying and filling. So I'm really excited that I did this video. That was a lot of bars, I'm full. That was definitely my snack and maybe a portion of my lunch, but I'm really happy that I found so many delicious bars and some new staples for my diet. I am so excited. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and it tells me to keep doing these taste tests. And also down in the comments, let me know what other products you would like to see in a taste test video. I have a few other ones up my sleeve, but I would love to hear from you guys. Make sure you are subscribed and that your bell notification is turned on so when I do another taste test you don't miss it and of course check out that description box down below for my coaching website I'd love to help you reach your healthy lifestyle goals whatever those may be the link to head over and join my Facebook group and links and discount codes to my favorite things and again I will link all of the bars that I shared with you today that I can find online and I will also share points and calories down in the description box as well so that way you can kind of make a good decision on what you may want to purchase but Lots of wins today, my friends, lots of wins. Thank you again so much for hanging out with me and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.